Because my name is Paul Put Joseph, not my first name. For the game, uh, I think we were very lucky the first half because we were not in the game. We were nowhere. I didn't recognize my players. They were like they were playing like children. Too many respect for the South Africa. And we were lucky that we considered only one goal. So we have been doing some uh, talks in the in the dressing room by uh, mid time. And I told them uh, that we have to do it another way, that I want to see a real Organia. Like we have been playing against Botswana Algeria, and I think the second half we saw a much better team with more aggressivity, more mentality, and also we scored by distance shots, but it's also football. But by the in the beginning, if you come to South Africa and you could sign for a draw, you will be happy. Now it's a little bit hard feeling because one minute or two minutes to go, and you consider again a goal, otherwise we should, we should have three points. I don't say it was the right result, but you know in football, sometimes it's not always the best team who wins. But I think uh, for the second half, I'm very proud of my players. I'm also proud that we have been showing at least football in the second half. So and now the point that we have won in South Africa, it, you can only celebrate if you get the good result at home against Congo. So uh, let's hope for us that we can uh, perform well against Congo. And then we will see, uh, because it's a, still a long journey to go. Thank you, Coach. Now we'll take questions. Coach uh, Lorenzo from Itiski Times. Um, like you said in the first half, you guys were nowhere. Um, obviously, a dominant performance from South Africa. Uh, and you scored in a space of two minutes, two goals. The second goal, do you think there was an element of luck for your side uh, to obviously put South Africa under severe pressure because you go ahead with a speculative effort? I can give you a lot of explications because uh, I have also players who are not playing because the competition is not started. So you see also the rhythm, the tempo is not there from the beginning. So you cannot do this in two, three trainings. It's, it's not possible. So we try also to get players who are playing in the, in the league or they have at least competition. But it's not always easy. So one of those things is also the concentration. Normally you should finish this game with 2-1. But it, we took, and I said it because of the pressure of South Africa, because they have nothing to win, uh, not to lose. So they, they go for it. But still, it's, it's hard feelings. What I think uh, is on both sides, uh, and I don't want to speak about South Africa, but we have uh, a lack of players in competition. And also uh, in Uganda, we have still a lot of work to do. And I think uh, by the time, you can reach this. And I think uh, what uh, Hugo Gross has been delivered with uh, South Africa, so it's long-term vision, and he brought a very good team on the pitch. So I think it's, it's, it would be a little bit the same. But it's always difficult if you don't have the players really in competition, and you have to play on this level. It's not easy. Coach, Kamakala uh, from Sokolaguma. Coach, you've obviously been coach. You've, you've coached a few games with Uganda now, and you've come close to beating some big teams. You've played Ghana. And you, you played Algeria, as you said. Um, how do you rate this progression? How, how do you rate this progression uh, after this game? And do you think after seeing a performance like this, you'll be able to qualify uh, for Morocco next year? Yes, it's, um, we try to uh, work very professional. I try to understand also the players, uh, the way we have to play, and uh, also I see that um, is a very good mentality in Uganda. Without talking about the 45 minutes, but in global, what I see on the players, what I feel, because I have been going a lot of countries, but in Uganda they have a good mentality, and I think the second half we are much sharper than the opponent. But this is also a, a, a talk, a pep talk. It is also uh, your organization. See with the players that you have f to, to progress. And I think with the games we have been playing, we are progressing. 
what we have still a lot of work to do, we have to be honest. But still, I'm a little bit, I, I'm proud about the progress that we've been making, and I don't want to, to, to talk ab about me, but I see and I feel what we have delivered, and I think we are on the right track, I think. Good evening, Coach Karabo Pasha here. Is there any certain players from uh, Bafana Bafana that you think uh, probably gave you a problem both in the first or second half uh, that you can turn in around them for the second leg out in uh, Uganda? I saw a lot of good players, honestly. And we, we know, I saw also your Africa Cup of Nations. Your performance that you did was uh, excellent. Nobody, I think, was expecting that you would uh, go there. So uh, you have a lot of individual uh, talent players and they showed it today as well. But it's, I think it's also a lack on uh, sharpness because not in the competition, but it's, it's the same for us, you understand? But you can see these players, they are talent, they are good players, very good players, but if they are in competition, then they can do maybe more. So, uh, but uh, you have a very nice, a very good team. We shall, take, uh, we shall take the final two questions, if there are any. But the fight is tomorrow, huh? Sure. <laughs> 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 you can go ahead. You need to rest. Uh, <laughs> you're coached now. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Uh, yeah. Coach Vanilla, I was able to say, yeah. I just to go back to the two goals. You talk about working at half time, um, also see some similarities and how you got those goals and the pressing was playing in some of the What did you spot um, about that midfield that you changed um, for example? I think uh, we showed too much respect in the first half. If you see, uh, if I talk with the numbers, you're 11. He was playing on an island, he could receive, he could turn, he could do everything possible. And he was making the game, he was playing. So that was not possible. And we have been also showing uh, videos what are the key players of South Africa. And if you perform like this, and then you have some players who, who at least are in competition and play a, a certain level, who you are playing Conference League in Africa or Champions League, then you respect him more. And also, if you're wearing the the captain, and I expect also that you show this. So I think we, we, we change it is, uh, mentally, and also more compactness and more the aggressivity forward. So I think that was the, the change in the second half. The final question. Coach, um, tell me about a lot to the from sports. I just need to find out from you, out of the homework that you did, in, a term, in terms of percentages, how much came out the way you planned uh, to play against South Africa? <coughs> Honestly, uh, like I said, uh, if we could sign for a draw, we would be very happy. So, and I think we are still happy because in the first half, we have been lacking uh, chances. We are luck on <coughs> our side. In the second half, we turned the game. So, but at the end, yes, it's 2-1 and then you lose. It, it's painful, but I think uh, we may be, we still are happy with this draw because South Africa, for me, is uh, the best team in the in our uh, league. Thank you, coach. All right, Thank you, coach. ladies and gentlemen, we call it a day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.